Hi guys, welcome to this free hacking training bootcamp. And in this video, we are going to talk about some basics of the hacking. So I'm starting every single thing from this stage. So don't worry about it. So if you are just you know on the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, follow me out there. This is my username, Gotha Venture, and stay in touch with me so I can be able to share out you know more value with all of you people. Perfect. So let's get started. So in this video, we are going to talk about the hacking, and this is the my quote from my side. The more you sweat in the training the less you bleed in the war. So what are the time guys we are having, the time, energy, the resources you are having, put those time, energy, resources and spend more and more time in sweating in the training so you can be able to become the great hacker. Perfect. So let's get started. So who is the hacker? Hacker is a genius guy who enjoy the modification of a system, who enjoy the breaking into the system and that person is called hacker. So let's talk about what is the hacking and hacking is process of finding the vulnerability finding the weakness inside any of the system so take example first of all you have to understand the system because without understanding the system you can't be able to find out any weakness inside any of the system so if i if i can be able to understand this system how exactly it work then i i can be able to break into that system easily so if you want to hacker then first of all you have to understand the system that how exactly the system work and after that you can be able to find out any vulnerability any of the weakness so you can be able to gain access into that computer system and this is called hacking in fact so if you want to become hacker then three type of the hackers are over there and the first one is the white hat hacker so white hat hacker are those people they also called as ethical hackers so whenever they do hacking the first of all they take permission from the owner so if they want to hack into your website then they are going to take the permission from your side that hey gotham i want to hack into your website can you please give me the permission so it will, it's all of those people, white hat hacker, they always take the permission from the website owner and those people are called the, you know, ethical hackers. Second type of people are called the black hat hackers and black hat hackers are really bad guy. They just, you know, do every single things for their own benefit, for their own financial benefit or for own any of the benefit they are having. They do all those things for their own benefit. So these people are really, really bad guy. They hack into your competitive system. And after that, they will, you know, dump out every single sensitive data, what is data you are having inside the computer system, either it's login, password, you know, credit card, debit card information, all these type of data they are, they are going to dump out. And after dumping all of this data, they will be selling out all the, all those data on the net, internet, on the dark net, and all this type of stuff, the black hat hackers too. And the third type of hacker site is called gray hat hacker. And the gray hat hacker is the combination of the white hat hacker and the black hat hacker. So depending on the situation, they change their hat. Sometimes they become the white hacker and sometimes they become the black hat hacker. Perfect. So these are three types of the hackers. So you have to choose your hat wisely. And after learning hacking, after learning hacking, then you can decide that either you want to become the white hacker, black hat, black hat hacker or the gray hat hacker. Perfect. So if you want to master the hacking, then the four types of things you have to master because four types of the basic things you have to master if you want to become the best hacker if you want to be the professional hacker and the first thing is that that you have to learn the account hacking so account is hacking is like it's hacking into someone's facebook account hacking into someone's uh instagram twitter linkedin any of the personal account whatever the person is having hacking into that account is called account hacking second type of hacking is called the network hacking so network hacking is like it's hacking into network if you can be able to hack into the wi-fi then it's called the network hacking so take example that two terriers start talking with each other and if you are one of the person who know the network hacking you can be able to intercept the data what are the data they are communicating with both of them you can be able to intercept the data and you can be able to read that data so you can be able to find out that what exactly thing all of those both are terriers start talking about and that's how you can be able to do the network hacking and the third type of hacking is called the website hacking so if someone's website go to face like as you have to understand that how you can be able to hack into someone's site, which type of the flow you have to find out so you can be able to hack into their site, which type of the vulnerability you should master so you can be able to hack into all this website. So this is called the website hacking. And the fourth one is called the system hacking. System hacking is all about hacking into someone's computer system, either it's Windows, Linux, you know, Mac operating system, hacking into the company infrastructure, hacking into satellite, all those things are called system hacking. So if you want to become the professional hacker, then all four, four types of things you have to be master. So let's talk about what is the process of hacking. You know, whenever we do something, we should follow the, you know, 
a procedure that we can be able to do the hacking and the first one the first process of hacking is the decide the target so first of all you have to decide the target that whom you want to hack why you want to hack which is your target whom you want to hack either it's facebook profile either it's instagram profile either it's someone's mobile phone either it's someone's computer system what either maybe it's the website so what exactly your target whom you want to hack so the first thing is that that you have to decide your target whom you want to hack the second thing is the is called footprinting and footprinting is the process of understanding footprinting is the process of finding the gathering the information regarding that target so what are the target you are having either it's website facebook profile mobile you have to gather more and more information regarding your target so take example that maybe it's website then you have to find out that which type of servers they are using which type of hosting they are using uh, who is the owner of that website all this type of the information you have to find out and this is called the footprinting and the third process is called gaining the access so after doing the footprinting you have to find out any of the vulnerability any of the weakness inside the system and using that vulnerability using that weakness you have to get access into that computer system you you should hack into that computer system using that vulnerability and after gaining access into that computer system then you can be able to access any single data if it's facebook profile then you can be able to see any single data inside this facebook profile if you are having computer system then you after gaining the access you can be able to see every single data what are the data that computer system is having and this is called the gaining access and the fourth process is called the maintaining access and it's so much interesting as it's so much crucial that after gaining access into the, any of the computer system how you can be able to maintain your access so you can be able to access into that computer system for the lifelong time you know for the 10 for the more the five years for the 10 years for the 15 years how you can be able to access into that computer system so for that what exactly you have to do you have to install some backdoor inside that that system so either take example if someone's you had to some facebook id then what exactly you are going to do as a backdoor then you will be adding your email your hidden email you will be adding inside the facebook account your hidden password hidden mobile phone number you will be adding inside that account so you can be able to access into that account you know forever so these are some of the tricks that you have to do i'm just giving you some you know this is a basic example i'm giving to you if you are hacking into someone's computer system then maybe you are installing some backdoor maybe some installing some torsion force botnet all this type of this stuff you are going to do to maintain the access so we can be able to access it into that computer system for the long time and the fifth is called covering the trace this is so much crucial because after doing all this type of hacking stuff you know if that person is going to fire up the case against you if that company is going to fire against the lawsuit against you then how you can be able to save yourself so for that you should be erasing your track you should be covering your tracks you should be erasing your footprint and that's what you have to do so you can be able to stay safe from the law enforcement agencies so you have to what are the footprint we are having on that website you have to erase all those footprint so you like there's no evidences regarding you that you hacked into that website you hacked into that uh, facebook id you hacked into that computer system you should not leave any of the tracks out there so these are the five step five process of doing the hacking and in the upcoming video we are going to talk about each steps you know every single day so i'll be teaching you that how you can be able to do the footprinting how you can be able to gain access into the computer system how you can be able to maintain the access how you can be able to cover the tracks and all these type of things i will be talking about in this you know a free boot camp perfect so thank you so much for this video guys uh, tomorrow i'll be dropping some new video and stay tuned if you like this video you know stay can stay in touch with me on the all of my social media instagram twitter linkedin facebook and follow me out there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so stay right and sign and it's better to the die on the battlefield than to retreat congratulate yourself because you have taken the first step to become a hacker today stay right and sign and i will see you tomorrow in the next lecture